The 2D color chase effect preset creates a multicolor chase using very similar options as what we saw in our 2D color on color. Taking a look here, the first thing we have is the ability to choose what colors we want to chase. We can set the number of steps, i.e. how many colors, and then select each individual color. So if I want to change this green to a purple, all I need to do is select the color chip at the top and grab the purple I want. I can then decide if I only want four steps or if I want to add or subtract any. If I want to add, I just increase this number and then select the color. Once I've selected my color, there's some more modifications I can make to the effect. I can change the direction, which is the direction in which the colors will play back. So by default, it's forward. In this case, red, purple, blue, yellow, white. If I change it to backwards, I'll get white, yellow, blue, purple, red. If I change it to bounce, I'll go all the way through in one direction and then back again. So red, purple, blue, yellow, white, yellow, blue, purple, red, and so on. Underneath that, I have our very familiar options for loop, phase, pattern, angle, and repeat. In this instance, pattern is again probably going to be the most commonly changed, selecting things like radial to get me multicolor concentric circles. I can change my repeat and add more of those circles. Or if I'm in something like linear, I can change my angle and change the direction. At the bottom of 2D Color Chase, you get options for fade and hold. This is identical to what we saw in our group color chase, and it gives us the ability to choose whether or not there's any fade between the colors or a hard edge like we're seeing right now. So if I come in here and add a little bit of fade, notice I'll get more of a blur between my colors. This is great if you don't want a hard jump or pop between your colors.